Air Force had to deal with a weird circumstance last year aside from the global events that not a lot of other teams had to deal with. After the Mountain West decided to postpone their season, 40 players decided to leave the academy for the semester. When the Mountain West decided to return for the fall though, it was too late for those players to return. As a result, Air Force now has a weird setup of old starters returning to battle players who started last year. How will that translate to on the field performance? Let's talk about that. We are now only 24 days away from the start of the college football season, meaning we are in prime preview magazine season as the college football season quickly approaches. Throughout the months of July and August, I will be previewing every college football program, yes, all 130, and in this episode, I will be covering Air Force. Last year, Air Force went 3-3 and 2-2 and and in conference. They split their matchups against Army and Navy, losing to Army 10-7, but beating Navy 40-7. This year, they returned 54% of their production from last year, which ranks 115th nationally. On offense, they returned 59% of their production, which ranks 91st nationally. And on defense, they returned 49% of their production, which ranks 116th. Head coach Troy Calhoun enters his 15th season with a 101-72 record. He is an Air Force alumni, and before Air Force, he was the offensive coordinator and quarterback coach with Ohio, Wake Forest, and the Texans, and an assistant with the Denver Broncos. Mike Thiessen begins his 15th season on the staff. This is his eighth year as a primary offensive coordinator as he spent four years as a co-offensive coordinator previously. Joe Rudensky enters his 12th season with Air Force. This is his fourth year as a defensive coordinator and he previously coached linebackers and DBs. On offense, they returned four starters. Hazik Daniels beat Warren Bryant for the starting spot in 2020. Daniels threw for 433 yards, three touchdowns, and three interceptions, and also finished second in rushing with 297 yards and three touchdowns. Bryant, Ben Britton, and others could compete for the starting job, along with Jake Smith, the only person to beat Trevor Lawrence in high school. He was one of the 40 players who couldn't play last year due to leaving the academy after the season was canceled. When the conference reversed their decision, it was too late for most players to return. At running back, Last year's leading rusher Bradley Roberts moves from fullback to tailback this year. He rushed for 461 yards and 5 touchdowns, averaging 7.2 yards per carry. Two of the top five backs are back, and Brandon Lewis, who rushed for 182 yards and one touchdown, averaging 9 yards per carry, should take over the edge. Wide receiver Kyle Patterson led the team with 12 receptions for 205 yards and two touchdowns last year. He chose Air Force over Alabama. Brandon Lewis finished second in receiving and third in yards with nine receptions for 79 yards. David Cormier has been a practice star for years and could finally get his opportunity to shine. When it comes to the offensive line, they won the rushing title with 306 yards per game last year and only allowed two sacks. They lose two first team Mountain West players and all five starters. They only have three career returning starts this year and have three seniors in the expected two deep. On the defensive side of the ball, they returned 9 starters. 10 of the expected 11 starters left the academy last fall and didn't get to play. This sets up a weird situation where previous starters and last year's starters are competing for starting spots. On the defensive line, they only allowed 106 rushing yards per game through the first 5 games last year, but allowed 290 yards against Army. They only had 7 sacks. Jordan Jackson started 12 games and had 3.5 sacks in 2019 and returns this year. Chris Hanera had 6 starts and 20 tackles and 2 sacks in 2019 as well and returns as well. At linebacker, the defense only allowed 303 yards per game and 15 points per game. Demonte Meeks and Lakota Wills return after missing last year. Jonathan Youngblood is a talented young player. They have ex and should be a strong unit this year. In the secondary, Milton Bugs played well in 2019 but used a turn back in 2020. He had 11 starts with 7 pass breakups and 3 interceptions in 2019. The team only gave up an average of 167 yards per game last year. They lose Alicia Palm and 2 backups from last year. Bugs should take his spot over again this year. 7 players return with starting experience. They are an extremely experienced team after mass red shirts from last year aka turnbacks. But they do need to figure out their quarterbacks and offensive line situation. According to Phil Steele, they play the 111th toughest schedule. Athlon projects them to go 7-5 and 4-4 and four and four in conference. 
ESPN projects them to go 7.2 and 5.0, and I have them going 7 and 5 and 4 and 4 in conference. I think they start the season 6 and 0 beating Lafayette at home, going on the road and beating Navy, coming home and beating Utah State and Florida Atlantic, and going on the road and beating New Mexico before returning home and beating Wyoming, who will be off their bye. Then I see them losing at Boise State and at home against San Diego State going into their bye. Then coming out of their bye, they have a brutal schedule where they have to go play Army in Arlington, who will be off their bye as well, which I think they lose. And then I see them losing at Colorado State as well before finishing the season with a win against UNLV. But what do you think? How will Air Force do this season? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the preview series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.